Hi everyone, we're going to continue our Topcon file conversion Trimble Earthworks machine control little tutorial that we've got going here. If you remember in the last video, we used our TP3 file to convert our site calibration and our surface and our line work to be used in the Trimble machine with Earthworks and we exported those files to our Topcon test job folder into our Earthworks folder and we produced these four files the CAL, the CFG, an SVD, and an SVL. So now that we have those four files we can use another program called Trimble File Flipper and we use Trimble File Flipper to format our USB thumb drive so that we can bring it into the machine and use on our machine. I'm just resizing my program here so we can see everything. This is a program that's available on Windows. There is also a program that is for Android that comes on every Earthworks machine that we send out to the field. The process works very similarly to this. This is File Flipper for PC. In the future, I'll try and get a video of File Flipper for Android just so we can see the difference. There are a few little differences. It asks the same questions, but the buttons you press are a little different. But this right here will allow us to format what we have in our Topcon test job folder for the machine. So here we go. So it asks us first when we open File Flipper to start by finding your design file and I'm going to hit browse and our design files are the SVD and the SVL, the surface and the line work file that we exported from Business Center. So we just go to where those files are at. We know they're on our desktop in our Topcon test job folder. If you see, I went to my desktop, went to my Topcon test job and Earthworks, and there we have our SVD and SVL. Now this is interesting because if we open up File Explorer, we see that in our Topcon test job folder, same folder that we have right here, the Topcon test job, and then Topcon test job and File Flipper, see that there's two files missing. The CAL and the CFG do not exist in File Flipper. That's because they are not design files. The SVD and the SVL are the only design files that we have in this Earthworks folder. So let me close out of that. And we're back to selecting our design files. So I'm gonna left click on the SVD and then I am going to control click on the SVL. So I press control on my keyboard and then left click. That allows me to select multiple objects. So I'm just left clicking the SVD and then I'm pressing control on my keyboard and holding it and then left clicking SVL and I select both of them. And I can hit open now and we see the SVD and the SVL. Make sure both of them are checkboxed. It always unchecks the second file that you bring in. Not sure why, just make sure you checkbox both of them. Those of you who are kind of doing this without Business Center or you may have different design files, maybe an XML or a DWG. If you hover over your question mark right here, these are all the combinations that you can use in File Flipper. So the DSZ is what we're going to produce, um, but you can convert any of those at the beginning. We actually use a VCL for our pipe design, but if you look at number two, you can have your DXF which is a line work file with any combination of surface files. Number three, SVD with SVL, which is what we're doing right here. And then number four, TTM with SVL. So you can use a combination. File Flipper is a versatile program. It can use a combination of many things to produce our design file for the machine. And I'm gonna check something real quick. that we're just going to use the SVD, SVL, same ones that we added before. When we have both our files and we have both of them checkboxed, we hit continue. Will your design be used with 
GCS 900, which is the older machine control system, or Earthworks, which is the new machine control system. Earthworks, cat grade control, if you've got it on your new cat machine, it's the system with the touchscreen. So if you have the touchscreen, then you are using Earthworks. And we're gonna left click on Earthworks. Is this a new project? I'll explain to you guys after we export this one what this means, but for the time being, we are gonna say yes, it is a new project. And I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm just gonna delete this right here. This is nothing for you guys. It's gonna help us here in a second. So if we go back up real quick, is this a new project? We said yes. And I'm gonna give my new project a name. I'm gonna name it, same thing we've been doing this whole time, TopCon Test Job. I'm gonna left click on accept. And now I'm gonna give my project library a location. So I'm gonna place it right on my desktop and left click on the desktop. All I have to do is that, just left click and then hit select. Will you be using GPS? Yes, we, most of the time, we are going to be using GCS. Some of the new stuff in Earthworks, we can now use a total station for guidance or a laser and those would not be using GPS. But for now we say yes. Select our site calibration type. I remember we converted our site calibration in Business Center. So that means we did a local site calibration. So if we left click on here, it's gonna ask us to locate our site calibration file, our cal file, the .cal. And I, that is something that we exported out of Business Center in the previous video. So I know that that is in the TopCon test job folder. It is in the Earthworks folder. And now our CAL and our CFG have appeared and our SVD and SVL have disappeared. That's fine. The SVD and SVL are not calibration files, but we are going to left click and select the CAL, the CAL file, and we're gonna open it. Not using a geoid when we do a local site calibration. And this is just a summary of the files we selected. So. We gave it a name, design name. We could rename our design right here. It just pulls from the SVD and SVL. I don't wanna name this anything else. This is fine. Our localization file. When we have all of this, we hit save. And it says your design was successfully converted and exported for use with Earthworks. And it happened really fast, but when we hit save, this project library right here was created on our desktop. And I'm just gonna shrink File Flipper real quick. And if we open this project library, we're gonna see that we have a project library. Inside of that folder, we have projects and geodata. If we open our projects, we can see there's our TopCon test job that we created. Open that, we have office data. If we open that, there is our cal file. And inside of our designs folder, we have a .dsz. And that is our design. That is everything we need. So we can go back to our desktop and see the project library. And this is ready to go into the machine now. And I'll show you guys how we like to do this. If you plug a thumb drive into your desktop and we see at the bottom down here we now have a USB drive that popped up so if we scroll all the way to the bottom USB if we left click on that we can see our folder and if we go back to our desktop we left click on the project library we just created we can copy and then we can go to our USB. We can right click in the white space and we can hit paste. And when we hit paste, it will paste our project library onto our thumb drive. And then you can take that thumb drive and go to cat grade or earthworks on your machine, plug it in and do the file transfer process. And I'll eventually get some machine videos on here so that we can see that file transfer process on the machine. Um,
But yep, that is how we use File Flipper. Real quick, I'm gonna show one more thing. I'm gonna show you how to add a design to an existing project. So let's say we had an update to our job, a new version, some changes made, and we need to add that to our project. So we're gonna start by finding our design file again, the new job files. And we've gotta locate those job files, new SVD and SVL. So we're gonna hit browse, same thing as before. We're gonna find those files. And something I'm gonna do real quick is, actually, we'll go to our Trimble Files folder and we will go to the Tyler House folder we created in a previous video, open that, go to our designs. And remember, we can use more than just the SVD and SVL. So in this case, I'm gonna add my DXF and my TTM for my final grade. Select both of them, left click on the first one, then control, left click on the second one, select both of them, we can open, we hover over our question mark, we can see that in step two, we can use a combination of DXF with TTM. So here we have a DXF and a TTM. Left click in our checkbox for both of them. Hit continue. Sometimes it'll ask you if you use a DXF, what project unit you're using. We know we're working in US survey feet, so we make sure that's selected and then we hit continue. Let the file convert. Of course we can't convert it, so we're gonna go back, remove the DXF and TTM. Start by finding our design file, press browse. I'm gonna go back up to our desktop. We'll just use the same ones before. Topcon test job, Earthworks, select both our SVD and SVL. I know it's the same file as before, but we're just gonna add it add a second file to our project. Open, select both of them, press continue. Same as before, we're using Earthworks. Earthworks just tells it to make a project library. If you chose GCS, it would make the machine control data folder, which is for GCS 900. So let's select Earthworks. Is this a new project? We know that we've already created our project in a prior video, the TopCon test job. And we want to add the design to that TopCon test job project. So we're going to say, no, this is not a new project. So it's telling us now to select existing project location. And we know that that project is inside the project library, inside the projects, and if we left click on TopCon test job, we are selecting the existing project location. So when we select TopCon test job, left click on it, hit select folder, and boom, it is going to add it to this TopCon test job folder. And if you saw this, it instead of being version 01, it is now version 02, which is pretty cool. You'll see that if we hit save, design was successfully converted and exported for use with Earthworks. We hit done, minimize file flipper. And if we open our project library, open projects, open the TopCon test job, open office data. And when we open this designs folder, we are now expecting to see two designs instead of one because we just added a design to it. And there we go, we've got grading version two. So that's how we create a project, add a design to our project, and then add a second design to our project. And like I said, I'll get some machine videos up in the future and we'll take a look at what we do on the machine after that.